And today, we're going to talk about the death of the left. Uh, they won. MAGA won. The Proud Boys took over. They'll be replacing the Marines. And uh, the Polish Navy now runs the American Navy. And we have the Mexican Army. Actually, no. But... And I mean, it's a big but. Don't you hate that joke? Uh, somebody has to repeat that old joke over and over again. Well, what would happen if there's no more left? No more, no more communists, no more anarchists, no more uh, pacifists. No more, no more leftists, uh, neoliberals, I don't know, uh, Democrats. It was all right wing. How would you think this country would be? Huh? How, what do you think it would be like? Freedom is the most misused word ever. And it doesn't mean, freedom means one thing to other people. There is no uh, universal, universal um, uh, definition of freedom. Freedom for what? To start your own business and underpay workers? Is that the freedom you want? The freedom to be a racist? Is that okay with you? You know what's going to happen? The black conservatives are going to start hating the white conservatives. You bet your buttons it will. So, don't worry about Trump. He's on his way out, which I find very interesting. You think somebody who delegates responsibilities, Trump is so stupid. He doesn't know how to run a country. He doesn't. He delegates all the responsibilities to other people. And then he takes the credit. It like if uh, one of his one of one of his underlings saves a baby from a burning fire, he'll take responsibility for it. And why? 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 Don't you see that? Are you people so blind? You think. You think, or you feel, because conservatives don't think, they just feel. You feel. Yeah? Do you think you feel, girls? Yeah? Do you feel? You think, no, you feel, that, that uh, authority... You must submit, submit to authority. Because that's what they teach you in Christianity. Your whole purpose here is to uh, serve God. You call that freedom? Freedom to be a slave? It's time we get rid of the two-party system. See? See this? 
Don't feed the animals. Really, I, I used to watch these cat ladies down at a California beach feed all the stray cats, and then take them to a, a veterinarian to have them uh, fixed instead of getting them homes. What does that have to do with nothing? It is. It's just something that just came in my artistic mind. Now, my last episode, I've been getting a lot of uh, comments. And my favorite one was this guy who says, well, you're a musician, so you must be a narcissist. See, that's, that's the type of education uh, conservatives have. They don't know shit, but they, they think they know something, but they don't know shit. First of all, a narcissist, if he's a, a singer, doesn't write music, he just sings. There's a possibility that they could be a narcissist. However, if somebody writes a song and knows how to write music and has, has feelings, uh, romantic feelings, and he puts it down on paper, puts it to a melody, that is an artist. Um... Let me get my mind. And a narcissist has no artistic ability, zip. So they're jealous of artists, and they like to put down artists. Sad, isn't it? So you ask why all artists and actors, and thing, people of the arts are left-wing. Because people on the right, it's all about being su submissive to authority. That's why I'm, uh, I am, and you know I am, anti-authoritarian leftist. Because the left is anti-authoritarian. We don't have to say we're anti-communist. We're just anti-authoritarian. That means anti-fascism. That means anti-capitalism. So, is America, is America headed for a revolutionary situation? Maybe, maybe. Because uh, Trump is the biggest leftist there is now. He's, he he uh, says we should go back being the most powerful nation in the world. This is like Soviet talk. And... Long pause. He, uh, he's going to destroy America. And all we leftists... We anarchists all have to do is sit back and smoke weed and watch Trump destroy it. And then we come in as the big heroes and save it. We save the world. Why Trump destroys America in the name of patriotism. So that's my commentary for today. And remember... This is the end, my only friend, the end. Well, come back soon. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing it. I'm so sick of politics. Because, uh, you know, arguing with idiots, right-wing idiots, it's a really big chore. So...